Hey guys, today's topic of the video is going to be about an important method in language teaching, which is audio visual method. But before starting, I will suggest you to subscribe to my channel so that you can get all the uh, literary related videos. Also, follow me on Instagram so that you can get all the literary updates from there. So, moving towards audio visual method video. In this video, we will be covering that introduction, de definition. Characteristics, techniques, principles, objective, advantages and disadvantages of this method, of this audio-visual method. So, starting with the introduction, it is said that the best way to man's heart is through his stomach, but the best way to his brain is through his eyes and ears. So, as the name shows, audio-visual it is a combination of audio and visual methods, both through eyes and ears, because it is studied that 85% is what we learn through eyes. It is often linked to the audio lingual method of teaching because both methods use tape recorders, work mainly with dialogues, uh, and were presented as scientifically uh, based method using. The in 19 do 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 during the 1960s, so it is often considered as an offshoot of direct method um, because it is because the use of uh, because the use of audio uh, because of use of visual media, the monolingual principle and some other procedures are common in the both methods. So, um, this method is intended for teaching everyday language at the early stages of second or foreign or second or foreign language learning. So, moving towards the definition of audiovisual method, effective communication emphasizes the teacher's role in terms of selecting the course content and also the integrating the course content with appropriate materials like pictures, graph, models, charts, maps, ra radio, te television, recording, players, and video, etc. All these materials are complementary and supplementary uh, to the course content. These methods are called audiovisual aids. In other words, aids, um, these aids that use by Teacher by a teacher for effective communication are called audiovisual aids. The word audio refers to hearing, and visual refers to seeing. And these techniques are effective in classroom, mainly through two senses of hearing and sight. And here the audiovisual technology is related with instructional technology. Audiovisual aids include all the means and technique which a teacher may collect from the resources and display them to make the teaching appear, appear real. So, uh, moving towards the characteristics of audiovisual method, I am putting these, uh, these all uh, points in a very sim simple way, so there is no way of explaining them much further. So, um, so, so that, that's why I am only narrating these words. So, moving towards the characteristics of uh, audiovisual method. So, audiovisual method is in teaching, strengthen an instructor's verbal presentations. It conveys information mainly via sound and image instead by or by text. Uh, audiovisual aid is an instructional aid that can be heard as well as seen. Uh, this method usually enhances reading skills such as speed reading, reading comprehension, etc. It is also used to assess the teaching of writing skills which includes sentence construction, introduction to connectors, uh, paragraph construction and essay writing. Listening skills can also be taught, for example, listening to the news, listening to conversation, pronunciation, grammar and vocabulary 
so moving towards the procedure what's the procedure behind uh, this audio visual method conveying so the lecture starts with a film strip and tape presentation then the material is explained by the mentor through pointing demonstrating selective listening question and answer the method is repeated several time and memorized by frequent replays of tape recording and film strips and or by language laboratory laboratory um, practice students are gradually emancipated by the film strips and tape recorder there are also some phases in the technique of audio visual teaching these are presentation phase phase uh, explanatory phase imitation phase phase exploitation phase, phase and transposition phase first is presentation phase in this phase pictures are presented in front of the learners for two times with little introduction second is explanatory phase in this phase teaching teacher is going to describe every difficult and complicated thing in the whole presentation this can also be the interactive session between the teacher and the student third is imitation phase imitation phase is when tape recorder or some other sound system is used to repeat the presentation in order to correct the grammar vocabulary pronunciation of the student fourth is uh, exploitation phase in this phase learners continue to absorb the presented dialogue interactive session is also continued here and the last is transposition phase in this phase the students are supposed to use the learn to learn to learn the material in new situations it happens at the end of the lesson so moving towards the principles of audio visual method this method is based on behaviorist approach that language is acquired acquired by habit formation so that's the behavioral behaviorist approach it is based on the uh, assumption that foreign language is actually a mechanical process and it becomes more effective if spoken from a form proceeds write, written form uh, the stress is given on oral proficiency and carefully structured drill sequences like mimicry and memorization and the idea that that quality and 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 the permanence of learning are in direct proposition to amount the practice carried out so what are the objectives what are the aims at uh, using at uh, of the use of uh, audio visual method so first objective is to hold the attention span of learner for the duration of instruction to hold the re relevant information available from different sources to make learning experience last longer to increase the effectiveness of teaching language to use or uh, to the use of this technique is being introduced in formal or informal education it is a new movement and has a valuable contribution in developing good educational techniques the age of technology has presented to the field of education a variety of instructional um, material and equipment which works as tool in the education educational profession so what are the advantages of audio visual method it makes an important way for student to understand the lectures and comprehend it because of the use of pictures and animations along with listening material this approach makes student fluent in speaking other languages audio visual method increase students learning and create a more welcoming environment in class student also often enjoy this process because of the presence of both audio and visual aids audio vision aids are used to explain stuck complex uh, subject structures you using this method new language can be taught more can be taught more clearly with the introduction of new vocabulary and develops the le lesson creating the real life situation and motivating the students 
and creative interest. It strengthens the relationship between the teacher and learners by effective transmission of your ideas and experience through people and participation, etc. Uh, a teacher can make presentations in the class more interesting and effective by using various audio-visual aids. Technology can improve students' motivation to learn. Your use of technology, you are using pictures, documents, uh, papers, videos, animation, create students' engagement coupled with the confidence which is provided by teacher during do do during uh, English and uh, during question and answer session makes it easy to learn. Um, students are able to think creatively and using audiovisual aids, students find additional ways to process subject information. This method is important because teachers go beyond the words to teach students new things. These are odd, these are visual aids also. Uh, and 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 show and tell session are useful to promote students' involvement. Smart classes are digital in nature, which are rapidly transforming the way of teaching and learning with innovative, meaningful use of technology. These smart classes bring in technology right next to the blackboard for teachers in the classroom. Teachers. Students learn different difficult and abstract concepts watching highly engaging visuals and animations. Uh, this makes learning an enjoyable experiment, experience for students while improving their overall academic performance in colleges. So last is uh, disadvantages of audiovisual method. The, th this is the basic method of teaching. The basic method of teaching is repetition. Um, so that's re re repetition makes this little boring. Mechanical drill and audiovisual method are boring, mindless and counterproductive. Audiovisual materials are open to same kind of misuse and harm. The audio-visual method doesn't develop writing and reading skills. This method allows extensive use of equipment with all associated problems of blackout, extension, leads, and carrying tape recorder from classroom to classroom. Next is, last is, in underdeveloped areas and classes, these arrangements cannot be done.